AMD Ryzen iMax Plus 395 Strix Halo Mini PC Tested Powerful APU, Up to 140 Watts Power, Up to 128 GB Variable Memory for IGPU. AMD's Ryzen iMax Plus 395 Strix Halo Mini PC breaks the cover, revealing great specs and lots of eye capabilities with this powerful APU. AMD Strix Halo APUs are coming to many PCs soon. First S configuration tested with Ryzen iMax Plus 395 offering great eye capabilities and gaming performance The mini PC tested is the X3502 from Chinese manufacturer, Saixin added. This PC configuration features the AMD Ryzen iMax Plus 395 APU, which is the top Strix Halo chip. The chip itself is an S engineering sample, and has some BIOS issues currently such as dropping to 10 watts directly from 140 watts while the Radeon 8060S IGPU clocks at around 2100 MHz, which is much lower than its 2900 MHz official frequency. Despite that, the gaming and eye performance looked great, but before that, let's talk about the mini PC itself and its internals. The mini PC features a range of I.O. ports including three USB Type-A ports, a single USB Type-C port rated at 10 Gbps speeds, 1x HDMI, 1x DP, a 2.5 B Ethernet port, a headphone jack, and a DC in port. The PC also features a standard power input, and it is likely both of these are included due to this mini PC being an early test build. There are also large vents on the back with the 350 watt power supply included in the chassis itself. The front features two Type-A and a single Type-C USB port, an SD card reader and a headphone jack. The main board of this mini PC comes with dual M.2 SSD slots on the back and a large air fan duct that pushes air out of the chassis. There are an additional two fans on the front which sit right on top of the main heatsink that covers the front of the motherboard and the APU. Internally. We can see that the AMD Ryzen iMax Plus 395 is attached to a base plate with three copper heat pipes leading into a larger heatsink with several aluminum fins. The motherboard features at least 23 power phases and the Strix Halo APU is surrounded by 8 DREN modules. With the internals and externals done, let's talk about the performance numbers achieved with this sample. Memory features 128GB of LPDDR5 running at 8000 mount, S speeds and the overall bandwidth figures are very strong within the AIDA 64 cache and memory benchmark. Starting with CPU-Z, the AMD Ryzen iMax Plus 395 Strix Halo APU achieved 808.8 .8 points in the single core and 15526.6 points in the multi-core tests. The CPU was running at a base clock of 2.9 GHz and a boost clock of up to 5.1 GHz. The Ryzen 9 9950X scores 874 points in single and 17,057 points in the multi-core tests, but that's a 170 watts plus T2P part. This is still a very good score despite the BIOS bug mentioned above. 4000 8000 12000 16,000, 20,000, 24,000, 4,000, 8,000, 12,000, 16,000, 20,000, 24,000, 17,000, 57 Risen IMAX plus 395 S 15,526 Risen 9 X 12,724 Another interesting feature of AMD Risen I systems is that they can enable variable memory for graphics, allowing the IGPU to utilize the system memory. Here, the IGPU can utilize the full 128GB pool which is perfect for running LLMs such as DeepSeq 70BQ8, which runs comfortably on this machine. In terms of power consumption, the AMD Ryzen iMax Plus 395 consumed 140 watts on the CPU package with a peak clock speed of 3.2 GHz when all cores were loaded in the AIDA 64 stress test. The CPU package hit 81C at peak load, but once again, these are not final figures as this is an S-chip with a clock, 
power disparity versus the retail offering. Gaming performance on AMD Strix Halo APUs is also strong with the Radeon 8060S, mislabeled as Radeon 8050S, and its 40 compute units. The chip was tested in various games and scored over 200 FPS in eSports titles, while AAA games such as Cyberpunk 2077 can push over 100 FPS thanks to FSR3 and FrameGen technologies. We already saw the same chip tested in 3 Mark Time Spy, and it scored performance on par with some mainstream discrete offerings. The IGPU achieved a max clock of 2.2 to 2.3 GHz, which is lower than its 2.9 GHz peak clock, so we can expect better numbers in the final silicon. 4000 8000 12000 16000 20000 24,000 4,000 8,000 12,000 16,000 20,000 24,000 AMD Radeon RX 7600 NVIDIA RTX 4060 Radeon 8060S, 40 CU, Ryzen IMAX Plus 395, NVIDIA RTX 3060 ARC 140 V, AIDS 2 Core Ultra 9 288 volts, Radeon 890M, 16 CU, Ryzen i9 HX 370. So looking at AMD Strix Halo, APUs like the Ryzen IMAX Plus 395, and the rest of the lineup, there is going to be some amazing hardware for mobile workstations and enthusiast configurations. We are expecting to see the first designs roll out in the market in Q2 2025 with a range of mini PCs and laptop offerings.